So I like to serve these um, chicken parmesan with just some spaghetti and some marinara sauce. So I'm going to drop some spaghetti noodles into my boiling water with a little bit of salt. Get those going. And this can all come together in your house tonight after work for dinner um, in 15, 20 minutes or less. And that's probably one of the things I, I really enjoy about this recipe. So I'm heating some marinara sauce, your favorite jarred sauce, if you've got the energy or maybe you canned some um, spaghetti sauce earlier this fall. Just heating up some marinara sauce. Got my spaghetti noodles going. And now I'm going to get to work on the chicken parmesan bites. Now, as you know, and as we've talked about on the show before, when you cut things into bite-sized pieces, they're obviously going to uh, cook a lot more quickly. So that's kind of the idea of this recipe. Instead of doing the whole chicken breast, which you normally do for chicken parmesan, we're just going to cut these up into chunks. Did you season your water? Yes, I did, Anne. I do believe I seasoned my water. So cut up your... Uh, and the smaller you cut them, of course, the quicker they're going to cook. So we'll do them in, you know, like two inch pieces. That looks about right. And we're going to take those chicken breasts. These are boneless, skinless chicken breasts, about two to three of them, and cover them in a little bit of milk. I'm just going to get this out of the way and wash my chicken hands. We're using our Lamer's whole milk. So we're just going to cover those up and let them sit in that for a minute. And this is um, the ingredients will then stick to the chicken. Okay. A little milk for you, Anne. All right. Now we've got a whole little breading process going, but don't worry. This is quick and easy and it's delicious. We've got three different breadings that are gonna, really going to make this chicken parmesan extra yummy. So we're going to start out with some flour, about a cup of just all-purpose flour. And I want to season that flour really well with some garlic salt. And that's going to give this chicken some nice flavor. We're just going to shake that around. And doing this in a Ziploc bag is going to keep this nice and neat. OK, in our other container, our dish, we're going to do one beaten egg. And then in dish number three, I've got some Italian seasoned breadcrumbs and some Parmesan cheese. Easy enough, right? Okay, so the method to my madness is so that this is not all over your kitchen. Is we're going to do a little assembly line. And then it's going to go right into the pan. And I think that's one of the, we're actually going to quickly pan fry this in a little bit of oil. So I'm going to heat some olive oil up in a big skillet. Big skillet is going to, again, um, not only did we cut the chicken into small pieces, so that's going to help cook this very, very quickly. But because we've got a big skillet, we'll be able to brown it nice and quick and then um, just, you know, get this dinner on the table in no time, which I happen to love. All right, let's start, shall we? So we're going to take our chicken breast. That have been covered in milk. And we're going to throw them and just throw them all in there at once. Into the seasoned flour. Again, that was just all purpose flour with some garlic salt. Seal it up well, seal your bag up well. And then just shake, 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 and coat your chicken. OK, that's easy enough. And then all the mess is right in there. Now we're going to take our chicken. And this is going to be right next to each other, so we're not dragging this all over the whole kitchen. Into our egg and roll it into the breadcrumb and the Parmesan mixture. Now, I just want to do a test run here. I want that skillet to be nice and hot, but not too hot. So I can see that my skillet is not quite hot enough. 
So what I'm going to do is just, uh, Ann, I'm looking for a little plate. And that's a good test. If you're not hearing a sizzle, that's just going to kind of hang out there. So I'm just going to continue to dredge. And hopefully in just a minute or two, that pan will be hot enough. So it's a good idea to preheat that pan, but you don't want to overheat it. When you're frying things, and we're just doing a quick pan fry, you know, it's kind of a, it's a touchy thing. You don't want it too hot, but you want it hot enough. So I'll just continue breading. And while I'm doing this, my producer Abby wanted to mention that there are still a few spots left in our upcoming big night out. Coming up November 11th, so it's coming up pretty quickly, we're headed to a great restaurant in the Kakana area. Uh, it's called Little Chicago. Five course meal. There's going to be a couple different wines that we can have. An after dinner drink. We're starting out. Our first course is your choice of their homemade tomato basil soup or their homemade seafood chowder. The next course is a wonderful salad with strawberries and a strawberry uh, poppy seed vinaigrette. Then we get two main courses, a surf and turf. We're actually doing a steak Diane, which is a wonderful beef tenderloin and a mushroom sauce um, and baby red roasted potatoes. And then on top of that, our fish course is a potato crusted haddock with asparagus in a, uh, a cream sauce over the top. Oh my gosh, and then I don't know if we're gonna have room for dessert, but they're, they're bringing it to us. A homemade chocolate cobbler with uh, a white dove adult ice cream after dinner drink to go with it. It is gonna be one delicious evening. $50 per person, filling up very, very quickly. So we ask that you call and reserve your spot today. The number on the screen is 920. 462-4393, and hope to see you there. It's going to be a ton of fun. Okay, back to our chicken parmesan bites. Yes, my skillet has come up to the right temperature. My oil is nice and hot, but not too hot. And I'm taking our breaded chicken bites that we dredged in the flour, seasoned flour first, then in a beaten egg, and then in our breadcrumb parmesan mixture. See how I'm spreading these out? That's key, because we want them to get nice and golden brown. And then we've got a little bit of olive oil, or if you had canola or vegetable oil. All right, perfect. Oh, did I forget one of the bites over there? Anne's excited about this recipe. Don't want to forget that bite. Okay. These are pretty quick. They don't take too long. Because they're little, I'm gonna go ahead and drain my pasta. We just want them to get browned on the outside and cook through. Just gonna be a few minutes per side. Both my kids love Italian food, so. This is a really kid-friendly dish. If your kids like pizza and pasta, they're gonna like this. So I like to serve this with just some garlic bread. You can make your own, or you can pick it up at the grocery store already. Let me just give these a quick flip. Oh yeah, now we're talking. It was weird not having a Packers game yesterday, wasn't it? Let me tell you, I got a clean house and my laundry's done though. That's the, the bonus of it. Even worked on our yard and the garage a little bit. Okay. What'd you say, Abby? All right. Abby's kiddos were all dressed up for Halloween. Even the baby was all dressed up. So cute. We should have showed pictures. Maybe we can do that later this week. So we'll ladle a little of this marinara sauce. And then the, you can use the sauce, you know, to dip with the chicken parmesan. And these are nice and crispy and ooh, so good. And they're bite-sized. You know, if your kids like chicken tenders, and my kids love chicken tenders, 
they are going to absolutely love these. So there you go. Chicken Parmesan bites that you can throw together in no time. We'll put the recipe on the website. Don't go anywhere. Lots more really quick and easy recipes still to come. So stay with us.